yo what is going on guys we are back this time with a little discussion we're talking about some of the new pokemon sword and shield information that was revealed at e3 so looking at this tweet i got a bunch of people hitting me up to cover some of the new info at e3 you know the how not all pokemon are gonna be in the new game and so i figured you know what i'll drop some videos you know i gotta i gotta show you guys what i'm thinking but i also wanted to specifically make a video on this uh tweet right in front of me which is about weather and stuff in the new generation i thought that might be interesting and i could have a good competitive discussion on it so you know professor agency put me on the case i'm here with my boy sama and we're gonna be talking about it but it's agency so yeah let's just hop right into it so looking at the first tweet the first thing we can see here um one second my mic is like fucking up either way so the first thing we can see is uh so when we saw this in e3 we saw that there's like some new field condition where it can be raining and there can be electric terrain up at the exact same time so that was pretty crazy Mixed to us up. when we first saw it because it's like how can there be two effects on the field at the same time and water Which and electric type moves with thunder for example being so like closely linked we were wondering damn what could that mean for a metagame so sama what do you think like we have seen uh rain and electric terrain up at the same time but it requires two different pokemon which used to be pelipper which would be the drizzle setter and then uh coco with electric terrain setter but that would take two switchings and that's two different turns and that's still two individual uh timers going off like if you if you set up one that automatically means when you try to set up the other there's going to be a turn yeah they're not in sync they're not in sync other. that's a great point they're not in sync but this one it means that it automatically sets up electric terrain and uh rain at the same time which means thunder is 100 accuracy also boosted you can't get uh uh like slept or all that goofy oh shit. true because electric terrain has that you can't get sport or any of that yeah you can't get sport you can't get put to sleep that's terrain. nice everybody sticks it's a it's in a crazy crazy mix and uh obviously if you were, were to boost any of the weathers rain would obviously have uh electric terrain as its counterpart as its partner but True. It, it's broken it's so broken this is a nobody what the reason the reason that the reason that uh that rain team in the sun and moon was so good was because of coco because of the electric type boost yeah true. Like, you could no, but nobody wanted to switch in into a specs coco thunder true you like, couldn't even switch into a specs thunder that's too that's too much that is too much like it does like 80 the heat trend feral tone things like 40 or some it's an insane amount and at the same time you can't do anything like when it comes to like water types either exactly because like, everything's just, getting it, too it overwhelmed because swampert's so strong as well you know yeah yeah it was too much but but you know if you told us a year ago or like two years ago or the pre basically when the first meta started electric terrains on their own were already like whoa this is like a crazy new mechanic yeah because coco like, in general was a very good pokemon and this pokemon has a boost to its main stat move it's very fast you know it was like it was cool it's insane it added a it added an extra dimension an extra layer when exactly. it comes to predicting your opponent uh setting up there's it is a, an extra layer of setup but yeah a lot of surprises you mix weather now you mix weather with it automatically in one terrain that is a lot that's a lot to ask and the first thing that popped up in my mind is why would they boost electric types why would they boost rain again because they yeah. already did that last gen but then thinking about it and even in gen maybe, 5 when they introduced permanent weather yeah you're right yeah when they introduced eternal weather bro maybe it's uh it's gonna be a return to the weather wars like they did in gen 5. i exactly. feel like exactly there's going to be like setting up the the weather setting of the battlefield is going to be bigger than ever it was already pretty big a sort of moon but you could get away with uh, only having one terrain setter you didn't even exactly need specifically terrain setter but i feel like right now if this because this is like why would you not have this why would you not want a thunderstorm as your uh terrain as your, as your condition of choice right because this sounds so powerful right you could have a team built around your water and electric type pokemon and again they go hand in hand yeah. so you could make such an insane team you know what i mean and yeah. i agree with you because you were saying in gen 5 it used to be so weather based and it was because permanent weather was everywhere then gen 6 they kind of took it a step back by limiting how many turns weather was and we didn't see weather yeah. too much in gen 6 we only saw really sand for the most part you didn't see sun yeah, completely sand, died sun yeah. completely died and rain uh pretty rare in gen 6 gen 7 terrains took over which is a new field condition and then weather came back because you know rain got stronger as so did sand but in general those are the only two you see and even but, then you know but even then both both the times that uh uh the reason those weathers were relevant was because of specific mons because yeah. is such a staple and you always run into 
sense stream you know exactly because exactly. like even and there is no good premier uh drizzle center there was no good premier uh drought center like tonight yeah. which automatically and toad are bad but tyranitar is an amazing pokemon yeah but now i feel like because thunderstorm is i don't feel i don't think thunderstorm is a terrain that pelipper sets up right yeah true like this has to i feel like this is either an effect from a move or it could or even like be a brand ability. new pokemon that could have this you know yep. Yep. like a, like yep. a electric water type looking pokemon that could carry both of these you know like a that could yeah, be interesting like a lantern yeah but could, yeah you have to think about it because i i don't think they would make such an overpowered terrain such an overpowered weather and then not boost all the other weathers exactly I feel like yeah they couldn't just there has to be more something. So, should we transition into what we were thinking with the other max moves and stuff like that from here? Yeah, Belunga okay. said a crazy idea. He said, what if Sun gets a boost with grassy terrain? Yeah, it's so... Like a tropical weather. Yeah, first let me show this Arcanine shit. So, this is another tweet we saw from the E3 Direct. So, this is Arcanine from the game using a move called Max Flare, which is a Dynamaxed move. So, you can see here, it uses, that. It uses it on Steelix. I don't know if you guys can see it might cut off, but either way, yeah. So, it's using this move insanely strong move max flare but basically this move is an offensive fire type move and it brings about harsh sunlight it activates harsh sunlight as you can see on the cerebi max moves that are in the game for gen 8 max flare is a fire type move that brings harsh sunlight so that basically acts as like a sunny day or something like that and it's also an attack which is crazy the potential to set up a field condition while also doing damage is really insane to me so that was something we were talking about but yeah 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 we were th we already we already got a couple of hints of this yeah. that's what that's what we noticed like if if game freak starts a new direction when it comes to metagame or mechanics it usually takes one gen to like test proof it or like do a lab run yeah and then the next gen they go crazy they go crazy with we it already we saw terrain now we get a mix of terrain and weather Ex and last gen we saw with z moves how uh Mew had genesis exactly we got right here we actually uh, had it Mew with the z psychic mm-hmm it's an offensive move that after it hits sets up psychic terrain which automatically benefits and boosts you and that was such an insane tech like that's such an insane tech because it's such a high powered move and then it sets a train after that like i i won a couple tournament games with nasty plum you um because like that stupid. that thing was stupid like it was it was a very cool tech and the ability to just set up terrain you know in fact in the game it won me it won me the game because i stopped priority and then i beat a lopany and a yeah, greninja exactly. with water shuriken like it was insane exactly yeah it's uh the the, the concept a, of being able to deal big damage and then set up a defensive think about it, yeah and it's insane. it's so hard to prepare for something like that imagine you have like a priority pokemon on the team and then randomly yeah. the terrain just gets set up and you're like oh shit like my opponent could never have seen it coming um i mean yeah, i had yeah, mew so it's a possibility but you know what i mean he couldn't be like oh yeah, snap yeah, my yeah. priority is limited because of this mew z move so it's, it's crazy the effects terrain can bring but the thing i was talking about that you were hinting at uh when we were talking about the thunderstorm was i was thinking okay so if rain gets electric type moves and that's electric terrain i mean drought has to get something probably so i was thinking max flare harsh sunlight plus max overgrowth grassy terrain so i was thinking there might yep. be some sun grassy terrain thing someone what you think some yeah some tropical overgrowth or whatever it's, they probably got like a clever name because uh a rain plus uh electric terrain they call it thunderstorms yeah so maybe this is called like tropical overgrowth or something something like that, that yeah could, that would potentially be insane for grass and fire because growth gro what is the requirement for growth uh, sunlight, right? Sunlight, yeah. So, plus two and attack, plus think two about attack. those. Think about those grass Pokemon with chlorophyll. Venusaur, like Venusaur. Venusaur back oh at my it. God, that thing would be a huge threat. Oh. Let me add it to it. Venusaur could be a it, huge threat. It, yeah. it automatically gets grassy terrain, which has uh, ground, uh, ground oh, type earthquake. attacks. So stuff like Physical. Earth. So earthquake uh, yeah. will be doing less, and you get recovery as well, and it boosts and the power of grass moves as well. Through, oh my know, god, and grass fire moves and fire moves. But so it's be fire. HP wow. fire and weather ball yeah weather ball is, is even stronger it, dude this much. thing this thing could be like this could make grass types so powerful seriously because grass right. types have yeah, always yeah. been the the kind of the lacking offensive type until cartana but cartana is exactly. great because of a lot of other reasons as well but in general grass type offensively and defensively has always been kind of laughed at and this could turn grass yeah, types yeah, into yeah. like a whole different beast if they're it's able to very, it's very interesting to see how game freak is uh is like shedding new light or like at least taking a couple of typings that are like obviously like ice types are known to be offensive yeah. typings, right 
we already knew that uh like electric types were fast from like the first five gens mm -hmm. but in gen six was like all we had was mega manectric there was no real like uh electric ho but with the True. coming of coco insane boosts insane like boosts. everybody ran like three uh electric types on one team uh people True. had to run mandatory duck trio like yeah. there were all kind of economy yeah because electric was I, they brought electric back electric used to be like mid there's no electric pokemon in gen 5 no there's no Yo. ou gen 5 electric pokemon and even in gen 6 the only the, ones only bro, the electric, only... which isn't good in thunderous which also then, isn't that and good and even then the only good ou mons were like very well used competitive mons that were electric type usually had another uh typing like magnezone like, like thunderous magnezone yep. yeah they zapdos were, they were yep they were used for other things exactly it's just that electric, electric was, was just tied on there. typing yeah yeah but now they're putting them to the forefront that's if very this true is, this if this is what they're trying to do for the metagame, it, it sounds very healthy, but at the same time, from the outside looking in, this looks like insane. Like this looks extreme. Like what yeah. they do with the Like how powerful are they trying to make some of these Pokemon? But I'm I'm all for it, honestly, too. Yeah. It could be very cool. Like but it. because look at let's look at these maximums again. We have some really interesting one. Max airstream, max darkness. They sound like conditions, right? But it says the effect yeah. is not anything to do with conditions. But max airstream, that could be like a windy condition on the battle. Miss your move, yeah. stuff like that. Max darkness, so it's like a pitch back battle. A pitch black yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah. And then you have max starfall, max steel spike. It's like it's very interesting it's very interesting everything is getting a, a, a something special yeah there's some new overhaul max starfall i'm very interested to what that could combine with what to make mean? misty terrain because yeah, yeah, yeah. misty terrain is, is one of the greatest uh terrains as well i mean all the terrains are amazing but uh misty yeah. making you immune to all status is very nice yeah like we were thinking maybe even for for misty you get like hill like a hillstorm yeah or like a foggy terrain exactly. something because it's it's weird to only uh, do you think game freak would only do electric terrain hell no, no right nah would they i mean electric terrain i mean all terrains are very good in their own way we had uh yeah. they're all great in their own way so i don't think so but yo let's go over some of these pokemon i put in the builder yeah that we wanted we to use to represent so arcanine we put in there because that thing used z flare blitz or, not z sorry dynamax max flare off whatever offensive fire type move so we could see arcanine being a potential drought starter this pokemon should have had drought to begin with honestly but you I could mean, even yeah, run a Heatran if, of course, that Pokemon's in there. But, you know. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, um, this is Game Freak's battle, uh, department. Looking at the fact that they indeed cut half of the roster of yeah. the amount of Mons. I feel like these terrains, I feel like this might be the replacement. For oh, the so now they just make everything crazy to make up for half the Mons not being in. No, no, no. I feel like because Tapu Koko was gone, what is oh, going to set up the Oh, true. Now? Yeah, because if they do get rid of those Gen 7 Pokemon, which they probably will get yeah. rid of them. Because Tapu and all that probably aren't coming back. You, we never know. But if they are gone, we at least have this. Okay, that's, like, a, this that's is a, a great like a, point. And this is another I mean? way. Yeah, so that the terrains don't completely die. That's a good point. Because... Because before this, before the, the, the Thunderstorms tweet came out, we were both thinking like, what? How can they take away uh everything that they introduced yeah, the first Gen pokemon 7. we were thinking about was coco we're like bro they're gonna take coco like that's ridiculous yeah like how could they do that yeah but then when you think about it they already i feel like they 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 thought about it like they're not as stupid as to to just go oh okay we've decided to take away half of the miles don't worry about it yeah like, obviously they're gonna be repercussions or at least they're trying to work on like balancing at least some sort of competitive because mm -hmm. they they've acknowledged competitive with vgc before yeah it's just that that's true I, w I wonder how serious they're going to take it. That's interesting. And I think that the fact that this Dynamax stuff is supposed to replace uh, Z-moves and Megas, and I, that might be a greater discussion for a different video, but that small part yeah. in general might be them paying some kind of attention to competitive. Who knows? Who knows? But either way, they always introduce something extremely powerful, and Dynamax and all these moves seems to be their new version of like the very powerful mechanic. But yeah, we had Arcanine to set up the f Max Flare. We had Raichu, um, as that thing was one of the very few pokemon that benefited from electric terrain given an ability right surge yeah, surfer did anything else even have electric terrain abilities uh no actually i, I think feel like it was Alola just right she was like the only one i know yeah you i know? feel like that, was, no, that is the only one it is the only one i know right yeah so that one was just one of the pokemon that uh did get affected by terrain no other pokemon got like mm. double speed and grassy terrain and shit like that not to my knowledge and then gyarados mm. we know that thing's in the game so we know that thing could set up uh the drop i mean not the Water drop, gazer. but what's yeah. it called max geyser max geyser, max geyser. Yeah. 
And then Titar. The that reason we put insane. Titar is because we, we had some interesting ideas about Titar. Did we talk about that yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We were looking at the list and we we're like, wow. So, okay. Max Flair. Obviously, this this weather ties in with um with the Dynamax mods. And we were contemplating, what if setting up weather, like all of the weather mods, like Drizzle, Drought, and Sandstream, which would be like uh, Pelipper, Ninetales, and Tyranitar. Yeah. What if... They, those abilities are gone now exactly and the only o the only way to set up uh weather is via these dynamax moves max rockfall max gazer max flare which would be weird after like, having seven generations of you know t tar coming in setting up sand but then again maybe it's a necessary nerf now that these weathers are so strong you know, yeah. I feel like maybe you only set up weather in Dynamax, which is now going to make Dynamax so, so important. <laughs> Not only because you set up, you you have such a big move. I feel like Dynamax is going to benefit the team and not yeah. just one mod. I don't think it's going to be such an unhealthy thing where like, oh, it's Z Komoo. So everything is focused on Komoo. I feel like if somebody you can make a team uh, Dynamax is early. It. Yeah. Yeah. What if somebody uh, Dynamax is early? you're able to survive and then because they don't have that dynamax to counter yours you're able to set up a uh, max flare and in the end yeah and then and then, and then you take bombs. it up yeah you know what i mean yeah, i feel like take off yeah that that's a good point you know maybe we will see tyranto without sandstream anymore exactly maybe, and then maybe, maybe, just the, maybe just the manual set it up now that could be very that could be an extremely interesting mechanic because it's insane how big field conditions uh Oh, are because yeah. you know in gen 6 again in gen 6 only really t-tar sand and if you didn't see t-tar then in general uh field conditions were kind of rare gen 7 brought them back extremely strong gen 5 was full of weather and now gen 8 they're taking a whole new spin on it maybe if there's no yeah. more automatic but that's basically all we had to hit i think we basically touched yeah. on everything that was important but yeah i feel like this this uh oh yeah another thing was the like just like mu with the uh genesis supernova the z move that not only is an offensive attack but also sets up the rain yeah we we also saw that with uh remember zero aura oh yes plasma fist zero setting plasma up fist. iron deluge mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i feel like we might get more moves that uh set up a terrain or a weather true which is, can be very interesting yeah, i feel like mons are gonna get usage maybe if they even got bad stats because we've already been hearing through the grapevine how overnight might not even be good when it comes to stats yeah but what if it what if it has a move that activates like a like a magnetic sandstorm or anything you exactly. know what i mean no that's true that's true and zero aura was released later on into the generation too so that might have been yeah. like their test of like this new you know true yeah because so they always kind of hint at it damn. so that could have been a thing damn we, we don't have some good discussion here yeah i feel like uh it's very interesting it's new like there's no more basic formula on what monster is going to be for the next generation yeah we have we don't know nothing which is awesome but yeah which is very it's very cool because now is. everybody can participate in building exactly yeah but yeah that's basically what we think about this whole weather field conditions all that good stuff we'll have more videos about gen 8 don't worry i will be getting around to how there are they're leaving out some of the pokemon i know that's a heavily requested video but Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, in the comments below, let us know what you thought. Uh, definitely want to hear what you guys think about the new games, all that good stuff. Leave a like. What you got to say, Summer? Man, all I got to say is shout out to Agency. Shout out to Agency. Yeah, drop a shout out to Agency in the comments. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.